What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're down here in our tank room or our compressor room. You guys have been down here with me quite a bit. And it's actually that time of year again where we're going to be looking at a total rig rundown. That means every piece of equipment that I use and what I use it for, we're going to be breaking it down into a series of videos. We actually did this a couple of years ago and I showed you everything that I wore. Now some things have changed for 2024, some things have not changed, but we're going to break it down to every piece of gear that I wear for all the different types of diving that I'm doing and I want to kind of explain why I wear it for those types of divings as well. But in today's video, we're going to start with, of course, cylinders and I'm going to show you every single one of my personal cylinders that I use and talk a little bit about what I use them for. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, as you can see, we've got quite a few cylinders here. I've got a bunch over here that I've got to get filled to. I'll be showing you those. I've got a bunch of bottles over here, and then I've even got some up in our workshop that I want to go over with you and explain why I use what I do. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with my work tanks. These are the tanks that I use for salvage, public safety work, commercial diving, things like that. And primarily, I have four steel 80s. So they're these really, really short guys. And I love these short 80s because they're it makes my maneuverability a lot better. It gives me the right amount of air that I need and it gives me the weight that I need when I'm in a dry suit too. So my four steel 80s are my go-to work tanks. I do actually have two more steel 80s, which we're gonna talk about here briefly, but they're doubled up and I use them for dual purpose. These are used for say public safety and salvage work and commercial work but they're also used for technical diving as well so we'll get back to those here shortly but my four work tanks are of course the four steel 80s now i still have every single one of my side mount bottles even though they're not all here i'm going to show you some more here in a minute but I have six primary side mount bottles now. So I have two that I usually leave just with air. That's these two guys back here in the back. And of course, those are the ones I teach with. So anytime I'm teaching a side mount course, whether it's single tank or double tank, of course, I have those two. And then I typically will leave four filled with nitrox. And that's what I travel with. If I'm going somewhere and I need nitrox, I will take these four bottles with me. That will usually give me two to three full days of diving without needing air fill as well, depending on what the dives are so those four are my travel tanks when i'm traveling with side mount and then for of course technical diving i've got several other side mount bottles and they're right over here of course these are set up for of course nitrox and trimix as well so i've got two there i've got two more there and of course they're identical to the other ones it's just i've got some for air some strictly for nitrox and of course i've got some uh, for trimix as well now moving it back around let's go ahead and jump into some bailout systems i have two bailout bottles or whatever you want to call them deco i have a 40 cubic foot here that i use for technical diving and decompression diving and then i still have my 30 cubic foot bottle here now my 30 cubic foot for public safety and salvage whenever i need it i typically will not sling it yes there's a sling kit on it now but I typically do not sling it. I'll actually have it set up very similar to this one. This belongs to one of our dive masters here, and he just has, I believe it's the shark pony system. Now, typically for public safety and stuff like that, I have it set up on my back as well. For any other type of diving, when I need a bell out or a small bottle or a redundant air source, I'll sling it. And typically, yes, I dive with a 40, but for salvage and public safety and commercial, I really think the 30 uh, holds its own, and it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to maneuver. And of course, that 40 is taller than my 80, so having a 30 to strap to the back of the 80s for public safety and salvage like that makes things a whole lot easier. Now let's move over into doubles. And you guys know I cannot stand doubles. I hate doubles. I've worn them for years. They've killed my back. However, as a dive instructor, sometimes I still have to wear them. So if we have students that are taking decompression and technical courses and they're in doubles, then of course I need to be in doubles as well. And I actually have two different sets of doubles. I'm going to show you these first. These are just my double steel 80s. I showed them to you just a little bit ago. Try to get the light better for you there. And uh, they're just doubled up. And of course, I can use them for salvage and public safety because they're the exact same 80s as over here, these steel 80s. But they work great for me because they're easy to maneuver. They're small. Uh, I can wear them, of course, with wetsuits, dry suits, the whole gambit, and it works good. But I've actually got another set of doubles. Let me walk you upstairs and show you my other set of doubles that I use as well. 
All right, guys, so we're up here in a workshop now, and of course, these are my other set of doubles. You will notice they are identical to a set of my side mount bottles. That's because these used to be side mount bottles as well. And I've actually got these set up for students as well. We actually got a student taking a uh, trimix course, and of course, he's got these set up for uh, technical diving as well. But I've got them set up for him. We got his BC attached here. We've got his reg sets here. And of course, or actually, those reg sets are mine. You're going to see them in another video as well. We're letting him use our doubles, our reg sets, but he's, of course, got his BC here. And of course, this is a second set of doubles that we've got. So if I got a student who wants aluminum 80s or a set of steel 80s, then of course they have their choice of which set of doubles that they want to use. All right, so to round out the video, let's talk about what tanks that I use to teach with whenever I am in, say, recreational mode, and I'm just teaching recreational courses, such as the open water, the rescue, night diver, you know, navigation, things like that. What do I use? Well, I personally only own one tank for recreational fun diving, and it's actually this little 53, and I can't even say that I own this cylinder because this cylinder actually belongs to my daughter. So that's my oldest daughter, Tessa's cylinder right there, that 53, and of course, I steal it from her every time I teach open water. The reason it's at the field station is because I taught an open water student last night. I actually had several open water students, and I, I've got to fill these tanks again for tonight, but that is my only recreational cylinder that I use for teaching. I use a little short 53. Of course, I can pick up any of our shop tanks here. All these are filled with air. These are just aluminum 80s. We got some smaller aluminum 63s, although I really, really like my daughter's 53. I'd love to find another one of those. So help me out there, YouTube land. If you know where I can get me a little aluminum 53 like that, again, I'll definitely pick it up. But yeah, these are the tanks that I use just for fun, recreational diving, or if I'm teaching a class. And of course, these are shop tanks, so I just grab and go. Or if I am teaching a class, a recreational class where we may need nitrox, of course, I've got shop nitrox bottles that I can use those as well. But yeah, that's pretty much what I use when I'm teaching recreational courses. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the first part of this video series on cylinders and what I use for 2024. Stay tuned because we're going to be going over BCDs, regulators, dive computers, masks, fins, uh, wetsuits, dry suits. We're going to go over the whole gambit of what I'm using in 2024 and why I choose to use those. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this series that's coming out. I know a couple years ago when I did, I think it was the 2022 version or it might have been the 23 version of what I wear. You guys gave me a lot of great comments. Uh, a couple of you guys a little concerned about me, but trust me, I've been in this industry long enough, been diving long enough, I can dive what I got. But yeah, if you do like this video series, drop me a comment down below and even let me know in the comment section what cylinders you use and why you choose to use them. How do they benefit you as a diver and how do they work for you? Do you wear heavy steels because you need to wait? Do you wear shorter tanks because you're a shorter person like me? Or do you wear big long tanks because you're a six, seven foot tall guy? Let me know in the comment section below what cylinders you use. And of course, we will learn from each other in the future. But guys, that's going to do it for part one of this series. It's definitely stay tuned. We are going to jump into the BCDs next and I really think you'll find them interesting as well. But guys, that's going to do it for today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.